Philippians chapter 2 verses 9 to 11, NIV. Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue acknowledge that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. After Jesus was resurrected from the dead, God seated him at his right hand and promoted him to the highest rank of power and authority there is. His name became more powerful than any name in heaven, any angel, any name under the earth, any demon, principality, power, ruler of darkness or spiritual host of wickedness, and any name on the earth. If it is named on the earth, then his name is greater. John, Sandy, Barbara, etc. It is easy to accept that his name is greater than Sandy and Barbara, but what about other names like cancer, diabetes, heart failure, bipolar disorder? Those are names too, but nothing more than identifying labels of the evil works Satan has to throw at you. He wants to see you cower in fear at the mere mention of one of those names, forgetting you have been given the name that's above any other name. You don't have just any name. You have the name. That name is Jesus. Today, get a piece of paper. Go ahead, get it. On that paper, as tiny as you can, write the name of whatever it is you're standing against. Is it so tiny that you can barely see it? Good. Now, as big and bold as you can, write Jesus over the entire page. Jesus is now what you see. Jesus is covering that insignificant name. That other name means nothing compared to the name of Jesus.